uh, Walmart stores has a responsibility to society to make sure that what we do fits in and represents what it is society expects from a big company. We need to figure out how do we in fact work together to cause them to want to have a Walmart. On December 6th, there was an article on the front page of our local paper, and it said that Walmart was going to build a super center on the corner of Queen Creek and Alma School, which is just a very short distance from my house. And this particular location was within our planned community, and it was within walking distance of an elementary school and a junior high school and I felt that it was an inappropriate location for something of that magnitude. So I decided to form a, a campaign and say no Walmart in our neighborhood. Living as Christ has taught us, we begin to transform the world. This transformation is visible in the reading that we have from Acts. We're really trying to show why the work that we're doing is the work of the gospel. The lesson we learned in Inglewood is that we have the ability through our democracy to take power and take control and actually hold big companies accountable. As a nation in this world, the most powerful, the most affluent, we have the power to make sure that all have what they need. That this is not some pie in the sky vision, but instead that this is our call as Christians to make this happen. One of my neighbors and I went and handmade some little posters and we decided that we were going to have a meeting in the local park, which was about a block from here. We had no idea how many people would show up. We were absolutely amazed, and all of them wanted to do something. In the beginning, it was only a few of us. Not a lot of people came to the meetings, only some supermarket workers and a couple of churches, remember? And then little by little, more people, until they started feeling the pressure. They wanted to build the Walmart on this whole parcel. It was going to be 215,000 square feet, and there was going to be Walmart was going to take this whole space, it's like 17 football fields big. And they were going to build one big box that was Walmart, and then little stores in between, and then another big box that was Sam's Club. People volunteered to do the various chores that we had. And then we solicited what I call a court committee, and that was a group of people who would be responsible for the strategy, the press releases, everything that needed to be done to organize our campaign. So then the coalition started getting bigger and bigger, and before you knew it, everybody felt like if they weren't part of a coalition for a better Inglewood, they weren't standing up to defend the community. And I think the other lesson learned in Inglewood is that there's no kind of magic potion to suddenly you click this, you put this together, and suddenly you're going to win. It's a hard process. There are a lot of things that you have to put in place, um, but when you put those things in place, you can win. It includes the ability to organize regular people, small business owners, workers. We got our message focused. We hammered away on the phones, hammered away on doors. People saw us coming and going when they went to church. Every time they went to a store in Inglewood, there was a, a flyer about our, our effort. We held rallies. It includes a legal strategy, enough resources to have the research, to be able to make your case, to be able to have the materials. It includes the ability to get at your message through the press, um, to do media events. It grew to 187 volunteers, and we had block captains, and we had area chairmen. We proceeded to gather signatures on our petitions. And we started out with 1,500 signatures, and by the time we got through, we had 4,000 signatures. And they were all from people within our, what I call our area code, our zip code. Zip code. Zip code. Inglewood is the first test for Walmart's ambitious plans in California, and activists say the stakes here are huge. This is like Godzilla eats Tokyo. This is much bigger than David and Goliath. All of the information that was coming from Walmart kept saying it's a done deal, there's nothing you can do about it, we have our zoning. Um, 
don't waste your time. But <laughs> we knew better. Then we had numerous public meetings to let the public know what was happening, what the status was. It is not like they came into the small towns in the south or towns that have no business and they brought in business. No, 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 this is something completely different. They represent from Bentonville, Arkansas, plantation capitalism. The future of this community depends on our ability to stop the monster in its tracks. Walmart sponsored the ballot initiative after Inglewood City Council opposed building a Walmart supercenter on the site. Today, Walmart opponents charge the initiative, Measure 4A, hijacks the city's planning process. It is 71 pages of legal fine print that seeks to cut the community out of its own development process. What they did was essentially tell the city of Inglewood, get out of here. We are the biggest corporation in the world. We can go in and essentially buy an election. We held public meetings. We did our letters. We held private meetings with city council members. We were out on the street and doing the work to ensure that people understood that to those who much has been given, much will be expected. I'm sure the Walton family believes that they're a good Christian family. Not if they're gonna make billions at the expense of poor workers. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that think that they're good Christian companies. Not if they're gonna make money off the backs of people who are suffering. A lot of people sacrificed an awful lot to have all the freedoms that we have. And that flag to me represents all of our freedoms. Our freedom to fight Walmart, our freedom to live where we want to, work where we want to, have a say in our government. They can say and believe whatever they want about, you know, trickle-down theories of capital and whatever else, whatever other nonsense they want to invent to hold on to their capital. But um, then as Christians, we don't have that option. But that's not our option, that we're not about capital, that we're about people. We came before the city council for the final vote, and the council voted 6 nothing Some to deny Walmart and Vestar, the developer, the right to build the store Some on that property. Residents of Inglewood, California, are voting today on whether to approve the construction of a new shopping development dominated by Walmart. That night, we gathered at a local restaurant, hoping for a miracle, but braced to go back to court if the measure passed. And now the votes are coming in on a proposed Walmart Superstore in Inglewood. 3,000! This small group of people took on a giant and won. And it was really beautiful because nobody took them to win. It's really the place. City Council in Monroeville, Pennsylvania, handed Walmart their hat today. Walmart packs its bags in Cobb County, Georgia. Community resistance paid off in Hickory, North Carolina. Walmart hit the road. Anti-Walmart candidates sweep the Helotus, Texas election. Another trip down the long and dusty for Walmart in Biloxi, Mississippi. When you have a group of people, a small group of people, who don't want you in a community, does that mean you're not going to go there? Thornton, Colorado defeated Walmart. Walmart, beat Walmart loses Maine. to Plainfield, Illinois. Las Vegas, Nevada defeated Walmart. Walmart, 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 Walmart defeated Lake Wade, Louisiana. Small group. Walmart, group. Walmart defeated Who don't Nino. want you. Don't want you in the community. Walmart loses to Charlevoix, Michigan. Neighborhood fights off because Walmart. Walmart beat Minnesota. Walmart loses to Chicago, Illinois. Walmart zoned out. Flagstaff, Arizona. Walmart rejects Walmart. Victory, Colchester, Connecticut. Success, Centerville, Utah. Victory, Harrison, New Jersey. An anti-Walmart slate was elected to city council in Deptford, New Jersey. Voters rejected Walmart in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. The Walmart mayor defeated in Glendora, California. Walmart beaten in Medford, Oregon.
going to take the picture, you? One million people a year visit Washington's adult home at Mount Vernon. And on this President's Day, there was disbelief that anyone would dream of disturbing his boyhood farm. Because there's plenty of places for a shopping center, but there's only one Washington farm. Surveyors have already marked off the property line for the Walmart. Yeah, that's history. They shouldn't destroy people's of history like that. May 29th, the Hawaiian group sued, claiming Walmart and the state violated grave desecration laws and public trust. Where do you get off coming here, uh, you know, a foreign... What if it was their great-grandfather that was desecrated? For now, the remains are being stored in a trailer below a ramp leading to a parking garage at Walmart. We put a sign up in the uh, Worthington, Minnesota store that was, it was 10 feet over the uh, city code there and the building inspector red tagged it and the next thing I know that there's an overnight they, they call me and tell me there's an overnight package coming for me and I'm to take it to this person the envelope wasn't sealed and so I just opened it up and there's a ten thousand dollar check and I gave it to the individual and uh, the very next day the red tags off the sign When you have a group of people, a small group of people, who don't want you in a community, does that mean you're not going to go there? Mm -hmm.